Hey, hello, boys and girls. Craigie here. Good to see you again. Hey, I wanted to uh, show you how to connect those paper sticks using tape. I thought we could make some squares and then make that into a cube. Let me, I have some tape that's already torn here. It just makes it easier if you already get a bunch of pieces and stick them on the side of the table or somewhere. So I'm going to take two of the paper sticks we made and I'm going to connect them with some tape right here. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to keep going until I get a square. Here we have uh, the third stick going on. You know, if I bend it down a little more to that one, that would be a triangle. But we're going for a square today. So it's a little bit different than a triangle, isn't it? All right, I'm going to get some more tape. I'm going to connect it here. Right there, see that? Now we have three sides connected. That's getting a lot more stable. Now let me uh, get the last piece on there. There we go. We have done it. We have connected four pieces. Sorry, uh, four paper tubes using tape. And now we have the square that we need. That shape. Oh, it's a diamond. Oh, it's a square. Well, let's connect those and see what happens. Let me uh, connect these four. I had made these four earlier. Looks like a ladder, doesn't it? This seems to be a really great way to make a cube. You make four of them, you lay them together so it's like a ladder. Let's see if it works. Okay, so we have our tape here. I'm going to bring this one up, up to here, and I'm just going to... Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try something crazy. I'm just going to put the tape down and then see if it folds up. Let's see if it works. You might have a better way to do this. This is how I'm going to make a cube, though. I'm going to put two pieces of tape on each section. There's one. And there's two. I'm going to do the same one for same thing for this one here. Let's see here. We got one. We got two. There we go. And I'm going to do. I just have one more section on the ladder anyway, and then we're going to fold it up. We're going to fold it up and see what happens. There we go. One here. And here. Oh, it looks like it's holding. I wonder what's going to happen if I fold it up. Oh, something, a new shape is emerging. Look at that. It, it worked. It was a ladder. And now it's turned into a cube. We might need to stabilize that in a minute with some more tape. But it worked. Okay, I'm gonna put some tape at this joint. And I'm gonna get some tape at this joint right here, near the joint. Mm -hmm. Looks like this one here needs some more tape. I'll turn it this way and just keep adding tape until it becomes more stable. working. It's coming in to manifest. It's a real cube and the more tape I put on both sides near the joints, the stronger the cube is getting. It's getting stronger with each piece. It looks like this one here is a little flimsy. So I'll put some here. Yeah, all of a sudden it's a lot more stable. Yeah, that's great. Let me look to see which joint needs a little tape. Mm, I think this one here does. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, maybe down here. There you go. You keep adding tape until you get the stability you want in your cube. Look at that. All of a sudden, we have a six-sided cube that's made out of just four squares. We can use that when we're making some type of
paper tube structure, we could combine it with other shapes, three-dimensional shapes that we can make, like the tetrahedron. Uh, I think you'll learn about that soon, as well as a pyramid. Yeah. yeah go to our YouTube channel, or you can check on Seesaw, and we have some examples of that as well. All right. I gotta go. I'll love, I love you, and, and we'll talk soon. Have a great day.